Oh, I came in there a bit fast. Polysulfate. Polysulfate. Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. Ah, you bad. Good morning, this tractor's not starting, the battery is Gustavoed. Pretty sure the alternator on it's fried, so anyway, I'm going to swap out a battery on that with the battery on that. If that other one starts to drain as well, and we have the same issues, then most likely it'll be the alternator. I could probe it, yes, but um, that's the wrong size. I could probe it, yes, but I don't know where my multimeter is, and I'm needing to get going, but... Right, got the other battery in the charger. Got the seemingly good battery into the tractor. Right, so change your battery, try to start it. Um, so I've got the other battery on charge. This battery's obviously not charging right, whether the alternator's boost or there's some form of wiring or right. Ugh, annoying. A bit of a weird one though, because it all tied into the exact same thing that I left the screen on overnight. I don't know if that's just coincidence. I don't know how leaving this screen on ties into it all. Because okay, yeah, the battery might have gone dead and it wouldn't start, but after that happened, I ran it all day because I was spraying. So it should have charged up and it should have been fine by then. So, so I'm a bit confused. But anyway, it's meant to be really calm today, so I'm not going to waste time trying to sort that. I'll sort that after I've got some spraying done. Just getting the hen feeders filled up. All done. So it was about half nine just now. Fill them up just now and then do it again at five o'clock. I was just sitting making this video you're watching right now and realized I've not fed the hens tonight. Ah, flipping heck. They're silent right now. Done, back to the video. Right, more wheat to spray. Get it folded out, go one tank will finish this field of wheat I'm in just now and then that's all the wheat done with this, this timing of spray. And then shifting onto a field of spring oats. This field's getting the same as what we were doing yesterday in terms of fungicide, but it's also getting a wee bit uh, of a weed killer because there's quite a few weeds in this field. Didn't get anything earlier. You can see weeds there through the middle there. Anyway, there's quite a few weeds kicking about across this field. There's also a few poles to deal with. Question of the day, forklifts. So I've, I've asked various times what preferences on tractors and whatnot, but forklifts. What's everyone's preferences on forklifts? What do they prefer best? Manitou's, Merlot's, GCB's, Crammer's, what else? There's loads of them. Wacker Nuisance, uh, Avant. Might be hiring a wee Avant actually. Need to get around to looking into that. Just for, to do with the sunflowers. Actually, if anyone can help or anyone knows where to get a wee, uh, just a wee forklift like Avant. I'll put a picture of an Avant here, but similar like that. I'm needing one for about a month. First pull of the day. Does it? Easy, does it? That'll do. Pole number two. Pole number three. And number four. Brilliant. I think I might bounce off this one actually. Is this gonna be all right? Oh, I came in there a bit fast. The eye of beauty. Okay, I'm getting question and question and question about where the vent is. Uh, it's not here yet. As of three or four days ago, it was awaiting transport, so it's not, shouldn't be too far away. Since Agco got their cyber attack, their systems haven't been right. They're still not fully functioning. That's been almost three weeks now. So it's completed awaiting transport. They'll have serious amount of tractors going out, so they'll not want to make a mess of it and put tractors to the wrong place. And I think they've basically just gone shut down until they get everything properly sorted out so they can then start production fully and properly rather than starting a wee bit here and making a mess of it and ended up with stuff everywhere. You can understand that. But yeah, they basically got hacked and it's theories of it being linked to Russia and asked for a ransom and ended up a bit of a mess. We do want to receive it before it's got quite a lot of work to do. 
so there's time to play about with it and figure out things and get used to it rather than it just turning up and the drill going straight on it and slowing us down really you can see streaks of thin bits and whatnot where we didn't manage to remove the compaction just because it's far too wet ended up probably adding more compaction to the field in places that's just meant the seeds not being able to germinate properly and punch through the soil and get going so there's bits where there is no crop there's bits where there's lower crop just hanging off filling up the sprayer again because there's rain all around it's not looking that good in the meantime while i wait for the rain to hopefully pass this cardboard's need to be squashed also there's an update on that building i'll go inside in a minute and i'll show you the rest of it i think this will get emptied today or maybe tomorrow i can't remember but soon so in here seams have all been taped and filled as well as all the screw holes and whatnot and all of it that's all done wiring for the lighting plug sockets that's all been done it needs fitted with radiators toilets sinks painted carpet skirting board and the exterior is all to still get cladded and then sheeted with corrugated sheets get there filled up no rain as of yet and it's cleared up uh, there's not going to be any rain now Touch rude, I say that. Cut to, if it rains, cut to it raining, but hopefully it won't. And then rain, that's stopped the spraying. And so just going out now to a field of oats. This has been uh, grazed by the, the sheep. Thank you, sheep, over there. It's got a wee obstacle to get around here. Should be able to just lift the room up, but I'll go across it. Right, it is time for fertilizer. Need to go along the road, unload a load of fertiliser, some, uh, uh, what is it we've got, we've changed, we've changed what we're using. Oh, polysulfate, polysulfate. We were putting on ammonia nitrate all the time. The sulphur is now going to come from polysulfate rather than ammonia and nitrate, um, just because the prices worked out a bit better. Now we wait for a lorry to turn up with some polysulfate. So, got here with a forklift, just waiting on it arriving. Here comes a lorry. Perfect, let's get unloading. It's obviously quite dense stuff this, we've never used it before. But yeah, it's really dense, the tiny wee bags. There's not much in them anyway. Similar sized bags, but there's not much in the bags. Just about done. Job done. Right, Laurie's unloaded. That's him away just now. He's a nice guy, he watches the videos, he's subscribed. Everyone else, subscribe as well if you can and like. Anyways, a lorry just turned up at home for barley, so I'm off back home. So that's the chemical structure of this product. So 14% potassium, uh, manganese 6%, sulfur 48%, and calcium 17%. So normally we use sulfur nitrogen, which I've got some over here actually. We usually use this for our sulfur content, um, which is 26% nitrogen, 35% sulfur. But just the way prices worked out with nitrogen, getting our nitrogen content via urea rather than using a bit of sulfur nitrogen better price wise to start using polysulfate and um, so that's why we've ended up with that this year so we're going to try, try it and see what it's like but i mean look at those bags compared to those bags there's 600 kilo there and those bags are 600 kilo as well and sulfur nitrogen isn't a light product so polysulfate really dense stuff there you go that's the exact same weight in urea look how big those bags are don't think I'm going to get the second tank full sprayed on the oats at home. Oh gee, that looks miserable. Sprayer's still abandoned. Hopefully this little drizzle doesn't come to too much. And after I've finished that lorry, I'll get that last tank done. Hopefully. Anyway, this is what I'm needing. My buckets. If I can actually use the steering wheel lined up properly. Good luck. Just when it's raining outside, we'll get them in here when we've got the space. 
getting loaded up. Bit annoying, I'm loading over the wrong side, but be fine. Job done. Lorry's away. Need to get my passport actually. I've got passports here, but it's a passport from a different account. Um, anyway, I was malting barley, sold that quite a while ago. A busy afternoon, I was only expecting the fertilizer lorry, wasn't expecting the barley lorry. And then rain, that stopped the spraying. I need to go and rinse out the sprayer though. It's had that Inatrek chemical in it that eats sprayers, so don't leave any um, trace of that stuff. I'm just squashing this again. Quite glad the lorries came when they did, otherwise I wasn't going to end up in a good spot because I would have filled this up and then it was going to rain. I would have been stuck with a full tank. Thanks for watching. Remember, put down below favourite forklift. I'm a JCB guy, love them. Also, if anyone has any information on wee forklifts, wee nimble forklifts for getting in and out of a sunflower trail, let me know down below. I could really do with getting my hands on one. Uh, we're looking to hire one at some point, so if someone's got any information on them, put it down below and like the video put a thumbs up on the video see if we can get 750 800 800 try to get 800 cheers